welcoming the Union Finance Minister Parnab Mukherjee's decision to allocate rupees 200 crore as a special package for Goa to prevent soil erosion and increase green cover in the new budget presented on Friday in the Parliament. Goan businessmen have complimented the state government over the allocation. Presenting the Union Budget 2010-2011, the Finance Minister Pranab Mukherjee has said the worst was over for the Indian economy after two difficult years and the country would return to a high growth path with renewed confidence and even block double-digit expansion. The Union Budget 2010-2011 provides for a four prolonged strategy to spur growth of the agricultural sector. 2% loan subsidy for farmers and rupees 200 crore to be provided in 2010-2011 for climate resilient agricultural initiative. Cesar Menezes, the president of the Goa Chamber of Commerce and Industry, complimenting the Union Finance Minister for coming out with a budget that would stimulate inclusive growth, hoped that the efforts of the Finance Ministry would control the food inflation. We made lots of efforts on um, you know, trying to reduce the food inflation, which is at the moment very bad with 17% is happening. They have made lots of uh, you know, subsidies down the farmers, like for seed sub subsidy and other things. I think with all those things uh, should come down uh, on, the, on that uh, uh, inflation. Because that is very, very important because, because that affects directly the poor people. So food inflation must come down. Uh, Goa, they have allocated 200 crores. It makes at least people aware why this money is come. It makes aware that our beaches are getting destroyed for some reason or other um, because of you know certain action not taken. Um, and also it, it makes aware that lots of forest areas getting cut by illegal mines so and they are not restored. Industrialist and chairman of the Dempo group, Shanivas Dempo, complimented the Union Finance Minister for the efforts to stimulate the infrastructural development, education and urban development industrial growth despite the pressure of high fiscal deficit challenges. I think he's increased the excise duty slightly, but I think uh, that was expected, although no industrialist likes an increase in taxes, but that was expected that those packages which were given once the economy stabilizes, there will be a, a slow withdrawal of uh, those packages. So all in all, I think it's quite a positive budget. Well, Goa gets the special package of rupees 200 crore for restoring denuded beaches, the president of the Travel and Tourism Association of Goa said that the allotment of the package was a timely intervention by the finance minister to save the Goan beaches, which otherwise could have eroded Goan tourism. Our unique selling points in Goa, two of them are natural beauty and the beaches with the warm waters of the Arabian Sea. Uh, we have seen of late that the beaches are eroding. I am not only talking about Kanduli and Sikiri area, but also the Baga Peninsula is getting smaller. The Anjuna beach is terribly reduced in size. Uttarda is having a problem. Koko beach has disappeared and other beaches in South Goa also affected, south of Kavila Sea. So, we have to do something to preserve these, otherwise, otherwise this is the main attraction of Goa. If further erosion will also result in a direct erosion of the number of visitors into the state. The second is the green cover. We have to protect our green cover. Mr. D'Souza also lauded the tax exemption in the budget on the new start hotels and other incentives. Any new hotels of two star and above, there is going to be a tax exemption. The holiday will be for five years. And uh, this is to encourage new hotels. Now this depends because this is totally on demand and supply. Uh, we are quite sure that by introduction of this second uh, set of rails, we will have uh, faster trains and better trains and better connectivity to the Deccan area and the South Indian area. TCCI Vice President Mangirish Pai Raikar called for the proper utilization of the funds the Finance Minister has allocated to Goa. Mr. Pai Raikar also called for the appointment of a special officer by the state government so as to benefit from the central scheme. Education has been given to the education of 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 the
आनी एक एन आय टी जाती आसा माता हो फायदो ज्या एडिशनल पे तीन एलॉटमेंट के तक शकता आमच्या सरकार एक स्पेशल ऑफिसर नॉमिनेट कर ज्यो पे सेंट्रल ये आसा योजना आसा त्यो सग योजना आम्ही फायद्यात कश्यो घेऊच्यो म्हणजे तातून आमचे एक कन्व्हेन्शन सेंटर आसा ज्याका तांनी अनु स्पेसिफिक पैसे एलोकेट केले आसा ते अनु कसे करून घेऊचे कित्या गोया खातीर हे व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द गोवा स्टेट इंडस्ट्रीज असोसिएशन सेट दॅट स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज हॅड मेनी थिंग्स टू चेअर अबाउट एस दी एक्साइज ड्युटी हॅड बीन इन्क्रीज बाय अ मिअर टू पर्सेंट दॅट इज फ्रॉम एट पर्सेंट टू टेन पर्सेंट the industry and particularly the small and medium industry has many things to cheer about in his effort to contain fiscal deficit there was a pressure on him he could have increased the excise duties substantially in the stimulus they were rolled down from 14% to 8% and it is a plus point for micro small industries that the increase is very nominal from 8% to 10% 2% increase allocation for schemes for small and micro have gone up smes are getting for one year the stimulus for export interest subvention of 2% again specially for smes excise duties will be can be paid in quarter quarterly and capital goods moderate excise on capital goods can be availed totally in the same year complementing the center for the special package the former president of the gcci said that goa deserved more he also called for more allotment of funds to strengthen the industrial base in the state the first time the state of goa is in a position to get a bulk allocation and specifically assigned to the state and direct assignment to the state so chief minister must have definitely lobbied for this otherwise it's very difficult to get this kind of funds from the central government last 10 years i have been uh, watching constantly there was no mention also about goa at any point of time except about the convention center which was just a statement but uh, nothing happened and for the first time the government of india recognized the importance of the state and allocated 200 crores for tourism though there is a very small amount goa deserved much bigger uh, as we are contributing to almost 4 to 4 and 1/2 thousand crores of central revenues and what we were getting always due to this vertical devolution formula we were getting hardly any amount but still 200 crores is a very very huge amount and i think if the chief minister uh, bargains well puts across his demands well i think another 200 to 300 crores minimum in the uh, roads and integrating the rural roads and all of it comes goa would definitely emerge as a very prosperous state the chairman of the goa board of institute of chartered accountants of india said that simplification of the income tax filing procedure would be beneficial to the small scale businessmen and the salaried class exemptions which have been given the transport allowance the medical reimbursement all those continue to, the, to be the same the forms the income tax returns which are going to do have been simplified but hopefully like earlier years what is to happen is that they used to make a two page form but ultimately you have to attach an excess of 10 pages The leader of the opposition in Goa was however critical of the central government and the 2010-2011 budget saying that the budget was inflation friendly and not for the benefit of the common man. Then declare kala tun 200 crore rupees goya kire tourism khatir beach cleaning ani environment greenery ajara tir ke dile mana aikta pan central government je government je ajun parinte scheme pe ait dartu whether it is JNNURM je Jawaharlal Nehru urban रिन्यूअल मिशन ताजे सगळ्या गोयात पणजे एक दोनशे त्रेसष्ट कोटी येईल अजून एकू रुपया मिळून जाईल त्यामुळे ते प्रत्यक्ष मेळटले ना खरे पण आम आदमीच्या दृष्टीन हे बजेट इन्फ्लेशन निर्माण करणाऱ्या मार्गाय निर्माण करणाऱ्या पेट्रोल असत एक्साइज ड्युटी वाढल्या असत ते आम आदमीचे बजेट डेफिनेटली नाही